am Diana and I am so glad that you are here. Um, as, you, as you saw by the title, uh, this is not a great update on my sweater. I, okay. So this, my goal, as I said last time, my goal was to get this sweater completely done by actually this past weekend, which was just a couple of days ago, right? Just a few days ago, but um, I worked really hard and like, I was, I was determined. I was gonna get this done. And you know how like when you take a little pause in your project making, you tend to switch things up a little bit in the, in the stitching area, right? So I was trying really hard to make sure that I kept my gauge the same, gauge tension the same and everything. And so I actually got the rest of the body and everything done on the sweater. So it would go like this, right? Pretty good. And then I would just need to do the sleeves <clears throat> and then the trim, right? And the neck and stuff like that. And so this started, it starts from the bottom and goes up and the sleeves are the same way. So it starts with the cuff. And I know that she is really particular about the way that her sleeves fit and the way they feel. Like she doesn't like them to be too tight, but she doesn't want them too loose. And so I had made it a little bit bigger than what I was planning on and had her come in so she could check it. And so she was like, no, that's that's too tight. So it's like almost just right on me, to be honest. But she's like, no, I don't, I don't like that. I feel like it would be too close to me. We need to make it bigger. And I was like, oh, okay, well, good. Let's, here's your sweater. Let's make sure it's, it's long enough. And, and the bottom is all super loose, like, stretchy wise and then if you notice it kind of um it tightens up because of the type of stitch right the point is it's all too small the whole thing is too small and now she thinks that we need to make the bottom etching bigger which means i have to take out the entire thing the the entire thing the, uh, like all of it, everything, the entire thing. All of it. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so frustrated right now. So I just, um, I just went to working on other things because I'm just not very happy about this and I am not really sure what to do. Like, I mean, well, there's nothing, there's nothing I can do. I was trying to figure out how, like the, the least amount of taking it out and being able to make it how it really needs to be. And it's, it's really just, just everything. So. So that's where I am. I worked some more on this blanket and I just wasn't feeling it. And I worked some more on Mateo's sweater and I got a lot, but then I just wasn't feeling it. And I, so I, now I'm in my slump because I put so much time and effort into this. And so I've got to like pull myself out of the slump and, um, and just and just get something done but that's where i am i need to take it all out and basically start over and it's okay i'll be okay eventually but that's the update that's the update on the sweater i was gonna show you like how far i got on other things but i'm gonna i'm gonna use the rest of this evening to um I'm starting to take it out to uh, see if I can psych myself up into feeling like getting something done. So you tell me how to, do you just, you just plow through, you just go on, you just do it. 
or is there like some tip or trick that you do to get yourself to get some motivation to be able to complete a project or to even like I don't even really want to work on this sweater anymore but I will but I will because I'm really proud of it and it was starting to look so good so if you have tips or tricks I'm just gonna try and plow through um, I don't know if I'm gonna like just keep project hopping or if I finally and you know what though I this is how I've been with my books too like I love to read and I have started like I have five books on my nightstand that none of them are like grabbing me and pulling in and so I started one and I'll read like a few chapters and then I'm like maybe I need to try something else and I do that and I read that and and now there's five and I'm pretty sure it's about how many projects I have so next week is going to be so much better I'm already feeling better. <laughs> I'm going to get through this. I'm going to complete things. As always, I'm so grateful that you guys are here. You have no idea how much like inspiration and motivation that you give me. And so I'm just going to I'm just going to dwell on that. And I'm going to get things done and this is just one of those things, right? When you make something, it's just one of those things. At least I had her here. <laughs> instead of finishing the whole project sending it and then finding out it was too small so you know there's always a bright spot although it just seems a really tiny bright spot but that's okay i'll take it so if you have tips and tricks please let me know drop them down below and thank you again i hope you guys have an amazing week and i will see you all next time bye